Hi, Wednesday 7 o'clock class. This is your review lesson for May 27th, Lesson 7-4. Your song today is Cuckoo and C scale in block chords. Cuckoo, are you saying someone around here is crazy? Oh, Simon, no, nobody's cuckoo or crazy around here. What you have to know is that the cuckoo is a charming little bird. Oh. And he has a beautiful song. In fact, they liked his song so well. Cuckoo clock. You are right. They turned his song into a cuckoo clock. Here's a picture of a cuckoo clock. And can you guess what he does at four o'clock? Uh, cuckoo. Yes, at four o'clock he's going to come out of that little door and he's going to say cuckoo four times. Listen. <laughs> Aha! All right. Nice to see you, Simon. Let's. I'm looking forward to hearing your new song. Me too. Bye bye. So now that you know what the cuckoo is, here's your play along song. It's three four time. So I'll count to three, and we're in. One two three. Now let's look at the music. First, we notice that it's andante, walking tempo. Then we notice that it's three four time, three beats in a measure, and a quarter note gets one beat. Next, notice the star, which is an asterisk, over the rest in measure one. It means there's an important note at the bottom, and the note says, use the rest as an opportunity for a graceful lift and drop into the new slur. That's tricky, so let me see if I can demonstrate what that would look like and feel like. If I took this cord and I just put my hand through it and hung my hand holding onto the wrist, it's like a rag doll, and then I drop, then I lift, drop, lift, drop. The only difference is I have to land on a specific note. I have to have my fifth finger land on G. So I would go G, 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 and then add a note, G, E, lift, G, E, lift. The effect this will have is that when you drop into the G, the G will be loud, and when you lift off the E, the E will be soft. Listen again. Now back to our music. Notice on line two there are two asterisks, and that means to go to the bottom and read the note, you must slur the right hand here while picking up the left hand between repeated notes. So your repeated notes on the left hand are G and G. But look at the right hand. You have to be sure to slur between the E and the F. Let me demonstrate. Watch the right hand between E and F. Finally, don't forget you have an F sharp on the right hand. But Cuckoo isn't our only song for this week. We also have C scale in block chords. Let's take a look at the music. We have an asterisk. That means we have to see the note at the bottom, which says use each rest as an opportunity for a graceful wrist lift and then drop in to the next chord. Then we notice that the dynamic is F-P. 
Well, you have to know that at the very end, there's a repeat sign, which means you're going to play this song two times. The first time will be forte, the second time piano. Now you get to pick your own level of difficulty. Play the left hand by itself? That's a must. Play the right hand? Oh, that'd be great. Play hands together? That would be terrific. Now, let me show you what the song looks like on the piano. For theory this week, you get one more chance to get your fastest time on your C scale puzzle. Learn these notes now because pretty soon we're going to be adding some more. Your other theory is your composer note spelling worksheet. On Mendelssohn this week should be fun. Okay, that's all for today, kids. Good job.